surface. I want to talk about Blade Runner and how it all came about because Ridley wanted to make this film and um, we had just finished doing Close Encounters of the Third Kind and had already developed a lot of uh, special camera equipment, the smoke room, um, the UFOs for Close Encounters, the mothership for Close Encounters. It's real important to realize that Blade Runner was made for a very, very low budget. So uh, we've got this really neat archive of photographs of uh, Harrison Ford fitting out in for the inside of the spinner, the spinner under construction, uh, making sure that he fit in, making sure he could see out, trying to work out and pre-visualize camera angles that we'd be shooting inside the spinner. A shot that really became quite a, an elaborate composite because all of the readouts and instrumentation were superimposed optically. The whole cityscape outside the spinner was um, comped in optically. Um, and then the uh, reflections on the glass, and the, the rainwater and everything was beautifully deposited. Well, here we are, here's the interior here. So this photograph of the interior being built and then this photograph of the actual interior as composited in the film. You can see a lot of changes took place here. So even the, the shot of the interior here doesn't show these bulbous uh, wheel wells sticking out in front. They just decided to leave them out. Another photograph from inside the spinner with uh, rain effects, uh, reflections in the glass, and buildings going by outside, vehicles. In a way, Blade Runner was the beneficiary of Close Encounters. The uh, comparison between Close Encounters and Blade Runner is very interesting because if you look at the spinners in Blade Runner, you're really going to see the UFOs in Close Encounters. And if you look at the blimp in Blade Runner, you're going to see the exact same lighting, same lens flares, same photographic style, same smoke room, same techniques as the mothership in Close Encounters. 